The next headline, Clinton presses China over Iran nuke sanctions. Okay, this is Hillary Clinton? Hillary Clinton, Secretary of State of the United States, was in Paris last weekend. And she was with Nicolas Sarkozy. And remember, France controls much of the nuclear energy market around the world, building nuclear power plants and stuff. And the U.S. likes to be in on that game of controlling that market. So they're trying to force China to accept um, U.N. Security Council sanctions. And in Paris, Hillary Clinton threatened to isolate China and cut off their energy supplies oh. <laughs> if they don't agree. What's she going to do, sit on them? How, well, is she, how is she going to cut off? She, how, she, how can she threaten China? She, it makes no sense. First of all, China, even in, the, even in the real war that's going on, the cyber war, the, the war that's taking place between, let's say, China and Google, China has the firepower and is winning that war because they, you know, most of the Internet's going to be in Chinese in another five years. It'll be totally dominated in Chinese. They're not going to win any of these wars. So, the US. so Hillary Clinton is here in Paris, and she's stressing that a nuclear-armed Iran, she's, she, they keep arguing that a nuclear-armed Iran cannot happen, even though all of the international atomic energy agencies are there and say they're not building a nuclear weapon. Iran says they're not building a nuclear weapon. But America is shrieking around the world saying, we've got to stop them. So you have another headline, U.S. raises stakes on Iran by sending in ships and missiles. So they're basically... They've just suddenly sent all these ships and Patriot missiles into Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, and the UAE. And Petraeus uses the phrase that he says the UAE could wipe out the Iranian Air Force with the, the weapons we've sold them. Right. So I'm he, asking, he, he wasn't talking about Israel? Because they're the only nuclear threat in the region. Well, exactly. But, you know, I'm asking myself, why, why, is, why has America gone crazy this week? Why, why are they threatening Russia? Why are they threatening China? And why are they threatening Iran? And, of course, it's budget week. The headline reads, Obama unveils $3.83 trillion budget with massive deficits. This year, 2010, the deficit is projected to be <laughs> 1.6 trillion dollars. So here's a warmongering nation going around the world threatening everybody and they're in debt like they can't even afford anything. What was the number? 3 point what? 3.83 trillion dollars. Right, and I think if you, if you add up all the debts in America, including all the unfunded uh, liabilities like Medicare and Social Security, every single American citizen has a uh, debt overhang above their head of several hundred thousand dollars. And, uh, the, and Obama is uh, threatening the world? Uh, yes, Nobel Peace Prize winner uh, Barack Obama is threatening China, Russia, Iran, uh, several other countries. But the headline also includes this, that war spending surges in President Obama's budget. So he's tripled the military budget, compared, the war budget, compared to what he told people who voted for him. On the campaign trail, he promised to cut it, but now he's actually tripled it from what he promised. Well, he's lied at just about everything uh, that he ran on, and uh, unfortunately, he's turning into an enormous, uh, really, liability for, uh, for the American uh, society and the American economy going forward. And um, we, we, we can only hope that he's out of there in a few years. Um, well, the other thing is that, so America has these massive deficits. They're threatening China, who's been, up until now, the biggest buyer of the U.S. debt. Whether or not the, uh, China will want to continue that, maybe it looks like they're not continuing it. Maybe they aren't buying it. And, in fact, uh, records do show that they're slowing down their purchases of U.S. Treasuries. So where do they go? The only other place that has any money that, uh, that significant is Abu Dhabi. Mm. And Abu Dhabi is in this article about surrounding Iran with missiles because they're worrying about Abu Dhabi being now a victim. They might be a victim of Iranian aggression as a U.S. Uh, satellite in the region. So I'm thinking that this could possibly be a way to sell more weapons to Abu Dhabi. Well, just an interjection there. One of the benefits in terms of Abu Dhabi of the collapse of Dubai was that Dubai was friendly with Iran. Now that Dubai has collapsed, and Abu Dhabi has effectively taken over Dubai, then all the saber rattling against Iran has commenced. So this is all, you know, this is all basically part and parcel of the global real estate collapse. Yes. And when you shut off the credit spigot, all of these countries and all of these corporations and all these potentates, kings, rulers, and monopolists 
are all scrambling for the remaining ducats on the table because there are no more free credit. There's no more free lunch because we're in a massive global defa deflationary spiral. Uh, which is sucking the air out of all of the, the, the power base of these folks who have relied on cheap money for decades to finance their warmongering, fearmongering, and uh, monopolistic activities. Well, before we go, I might want to add one more thing. It's because the UA, uh, Abu Dhabi has a trillion dollars, and they have not spent it much recently on bailing out the U.S. banks and the U.S. system. But because of the... Uh, the the emerging conflict in the region based on the U.S. saber-rattling against Iran. The UAE recently bought 80 U.S.-made military fighter jets. It is also buying fighters from France, where Hillary Clinton was, with President Sarkozy, saber-rattling against the region. What a waste of money. All right, Stacey Edward, thanks so much. Thank you, Max. When we come back, much more, so stay tuned.